We've already learnt that matter around us is made up of molecules, compounds and mixtures. Well, if you take a closer look, all of these contain individual elements in different compositions. Have you ever wondered how the elements around us are classified? You must have observed the arrangement of books in a library or the grocery section of a supermarket. Everything is properly ordered and arranged. We see order around us every day. It makes our lives so much easier. Similarly, as scientists kept discovering various elements, they too wanted to arrange these elements in a proper order. So what kind of arrangement is possible for elements? An alphabetical order of their names? Or an order based on their color? Scientists thought of various possibilities and eventually came to a conclusion that elements should be arranged based on some of their properties. For example, an arrangement based on their physical state, being solid or liquid or gas or maybe based on how dense they are. Have you ever wondered how many different elements exist around us? How many do you recall? You will be surprised to know that a total of 118 elements exist around us today. Let's understand how this humongous task of classifying elements first started. The first attempt at classifying elements was made by a German chemist called Johann Wolfgang Dobreiner. Dobreiner used atomic mass to classify elements into triads. As we already know, the atomic mass of an element is the mass of one atom of an element expressed by the unit U as recommended by IUPAC. Dobreiner observed that certain group of three elements showed similar properties when arranged in the increasing order of atomic masses. Most importantly, atomic mass of the middle element was roughly the average of the other two. He defined these groups as triads and we now refer to them as Dobreiner's triads. The three triads identified by Dobreiner are shown here. But what about other elements with similar properties, such as nitrogen, phosphorus and arsenic? The atomic mass of phosphorus is not even close to the average atomic masses of nitrogen and arsenic. They clearly do not form a Dobreiner triad. Out of the elements known at that time, only 9 could be classified into Dobreiner's triad. Therefore, only 3 triads were possible. Unfortunately, Dobreiner's triads were not efficient enough to classify elements. Let's quickly recap what we've learned in this video. Classification is important to study elements. The German chemist Dobreiner made the first attempt to arrange elements. Atomic mass was used as the basis of his classification. Dobreiner's triads contain three elements with similar properties. Atomic mass of the middle element is roughly the average of the other two. Limitation Only three triads could be formed out of 25 known elements. But wait a minute, do I see another budding scientist trying to resolve this problem? Hmm, maybe. Look out for more exciting information in the next video.